Welcome back. I told you that today I would tell you what cabbage, apples, and sweet pickles have in common, along with partially set lemon jello. I mixed a pack of lemon jello with two pints of water, which comes up to about two cups, and it has to be boiling water. So, lemon jello and two cups of boiling water, partially set. <clears throat> and here we go. This is called Cabbage Apple Salad, and it's out of this little cookbook here. That's called Fatback and Molasses. It's got some very interesting recipes. And this one says one package of lemon jello. Dissolve jello in hot water. Add vinegar and salt. It was four teaspoons of vinegar. So that is added in there before it goes into the fridge to partially set. And now it's partially set. Probably a little smidge bit over. I don't know because it doesn't say. It just says chill until slightly set. And then it says to fold in the cabbage. One cup of cabbage shredded. And the apples... Right here, you have one cup of diced apples. And this right here, I know they have tons of electric choppers, but this is my favorite little chopper right here. Perfect, perfect favorite little chopper. And then we have a quarter cup of chopped sweet pickles. And that goes in there as well. And then you're supposed to fold it in. Doesn't that look delicious? Cabbage apple salad. And this cookbook is from Labrador, Canada. It has lots of interesting little recipes in it. And then I assume we, like, after we get it all mixed in there, make sure all the pickles are distributed, because we are going to have a taste testing video, because I'm not great at piecing together videos yet. I'll get there, but I'm not there yet. And this is what we got. And pieces of pickle and apple and carrot, uh, cabbage, all in the lemon jello. And my niece said she'd try this with me, and my mother's going to try it with me. I don't think we can get anybody else to. We're going to try to get my daughter to do it, but I don't think she's going to. But yeah, there's some good recipes in here. And there's some not so good recipes in here. Like, let's see. Most of these are fish. I can't do fish. I'm allergic, so I wouldn't try them anyway. Cause, ew. But they're like, let's see. I know that when making the pickles and stuff, like, like apple pickles, I've never heard of those. Apple pickles is one dozen apples, pickling spices tied in a thin cloth, and a large tinder, a large tin of tomatoes. One and a quarter pounds of brown sugar and white vinegar, one pint of white vinegar, excuse me, cook until tender. That's all you get. So you mix it all together and cook it until tender. Let's see. Damper dogs are little pieces of dough that they used to put on the stove. When their mother made a regular batch of homemade bread and they'd flatten them out. 
and then the old they'd wipe off the top of the old Waterloo with a clean paper towel and then they'd put the pieces of dough on the edge of the stove and let them brown to a lovely crust on both sides and then they would eat them The Brumswick stew, their first ingredients is two squirrels. Squirrel cakes, obviously, three squirrels. Ew! I have no desire to eat squirrels. I got a ton of them around here. We could probably live very comfortably. But no, no squirrels for me. I can't find the really disgusting one. Let's see. Pan fried partridge. We probably have a partridge or two around here. I don't really want to catch a partridge. Oh, brawn. Brawn, the wonderful brawn. Saw a pig's head in two parts and placed in salt water for 24 hours. Wash well and put to boil with sufficient cold water to cover completely. Skim and keep stock clear. Saw in two or three parts. Four ox or cow feet, that is. The part from the knee to the joint above the foot. Ew, I'm not doing that. So anyway, that's the book I'm doing this recipe from. And now we're just going to put it in the fridge and let it finish setting. And then I'm going to try it later with everybody that is daring enough to try it with me. Thank you and we'll talk to you later.